Hafla ya kuwatambua waishio kwa ulemavu ilihudhuriwa na miongoni mwa wengine naibu wa Rais William Ruto katika hospitali akiwa Kenya huko Kijabe kaunti ya Kiambu. Article 54 sisi tukiwa wale mavu haijakamilishwa. Haijakuwa implemented tukasikia ati hiyo katiba imefanya wakazi kulingana na venye tungehitaji. Kwa hivyo sisi kama wale mavu tunaona bado kuna gaps nyingi sana sana. We are very much grateful because under your leadership uh, and under your direction you've been very close to ensure that the council uh, which caters for the rights of persons with disabilities have been getting consistent funding uh, from the government. Naibu Rais alidokeza umuhimu wa jamii hii kuhusishwa katika mchakato wa mabadiliko ya katiba ambayo waishio kwa ulemavu wanadai kutengwa kwayo. We are going to walk this journey together with persons with disability to ensure that they are mainstreamed in to the Kenyan society and their contribution can be realized as every other Kenyan is making their bit of contribution towards taking the country forward. Ruto amesema kuwa tayari serikali imetenga fedha za kushughulikia waishio katika hali hii. This year alone we are going to spend 1.2 billion shillings to assist 42,000 persons with disability in various interventions. Haya yanajiri huku swala la unyanyapaa likitajwa kukithiri miongoni mwa wanaoishi na ulemavu kutokana na athari za COVID-19. Mtu akitembea hawezi kuona ni mtu tu kwa sababu atamrecognize, atajua, atampa heshima ambayo iko kwa constitution ya Kenya. NHIF to cover the provision of assisted devices. You can imagine in this era, a child with disability in a primary school crawling to class and was crawling into a pit latrine. And you know how those pit latrines are that? Using his or her hands to touch the soil ground. After soiling the hands, those are the same hands that you will use to eat food. That self-esteem of that particular child is lowered. Wanaoishi na ulemavu nchini sasa wanasema kuwa ni sharti wajumuishwe kukamilifu katika mchakato mzima wa kubadilisha baadhi ya vipengee vya katiba ili waboreke kimaisha. Nixon Kisaka Runinga K24 kutoka Kijabe, County ya Kiambu.